Amplifiers are electronic circuits that increase the amplitude of a signal, either its voltage or its current, while preserving its basic, basic shape. So mathematically, we say then that the output voltage, V out, is equal to some scaling value, A, times V in. So for example, if V in of T equaled some V sub M cosine of omega T, then V out of T would equal A times V sub M cosine omega T. The output has the same basic cosine shape as the input, it's just that it'll have a different amplitude. Any modification to its general shape is known as distortion. While there are times that we intentionally distort a signal, generally when dealing with amplifier circuits, distortion is undesirable. I've shown two different uh, schematic symbols for amplifiers. This symbol here is meant to show an input voltage V in plus to minus V in and an output voltage V out that are not both referenced to the same voltage. They could represent branch voltages across two different parts of the circuit. They're not both referenced to the same voltage. On the other hand, here V in and V out are both referenced to ground. So for example, here we have an ampli amplifier referenced to ground with the input signal coming in and the output signal, the voltage across this resistor. And the output then, V out, would equal some A sub V times V in. Graphically, we have then V in represented along the horizontal axis, V out, and we see that there is a linear relationship between the input and the output voltages, or the outputs, input and output signals. Thus, these devices are sometimes referred to as linear devices, and the study of this material is known as a linear circuits class. We're going to see that amplifiers can be used to amplify either voltage or current or a combination of the two, and in the process, increase the actual power in the signal. Unlike transformers, where power in equals power out, amplifiers will actually increase the signal strength, e again, either in amplitude of the voltage or amplitude of the current or a combination of the two. The amount of amplification that is produced is referred to as the amplifier gain and it's defined as the ratio of the output to the input. So for example, we can talk about the voltage gain of an amplifier, A sub V, as being the ratio of the output voltage to the input voltage. In this case up here then, we define A sub V as being the ratio of the output to the input. And if we're talking about a voltage gain, we're going to call it A sub V for the gain, the voltage gain. Similarly, you'll have A sub I for the current gain. And in those instances where we're actually talking about the gain of the power, it will be the power, A sub P will be the power at the load divided by the power in, or the ratio of the load power to the source power. Of course, power is just equal to I times V. So at the output, we'll have I out times V out divided by the power at the input, which is I in times V in. And as we can see, the power gain A sub P then is just equal to the ratio of V out over V in, or A sub V, times the ratio of the output current to the input current, A sub I. When working with amplifiers, the output signal may be orders of magnitude greater than the input. And in active filters, the gain of the passband may be several orders of magnitude different from the attenuation in the stop band. So to accommodate this large variation, they've developed two different scales which are commonly used when talking about amplifiers and filters. There's a linear scale and a logarithmic scale. The linear scale is just a straight linear value of, uh, if the output, if A sub V was Ten time, it was, if the output was 10 times as big as the input, then A sub V would just be 10. If it was 1,000 times bigger, then A sub V would be 1,000. But in the logarithmic scale, we use what is known as decibels, or we use the term decibels to refer to values in the logarithmic scale, where 
a decibel is equal to or is defined as 20 times the log base 10 of, in this case, the voltage gain. So in dB, the, the abbreviation for decibels is dB, the voltage gain in dB is equal to 20 times the log base 10 of the voltage gain of the linear scale, similarly for current. And when we're talking about power, because power is, is related to either the current squared, like I squared R, or power is also proportional to V squared over R. In either case, the power is proportional to the quantity squared. When you take the log, log base 10 of I squared or V squared, this um, exponent gets kicked out in front and you get two times the log base 10 of I. So when we're talking about power, there's this factor of 2 that we don't have when we're talking about either voltage or current. Thus, when we're talking about, or we're going to define the uh, power gain in dB as 10 times, or 10 times the log of the linear gain. Because again, this power kicks out a factor of 2. And so to make the gain in power comparable to the gain for voltage or current, we the uh, dB for power is defined as only 10 times the log rather than 20 times the log. You can see here a number of different common gain terms. If you've got a gain of 0 0.001, if A sub V equaled 0 0.001, in decibels that would be negative 60 dB. How do we get there? Well, 20 times the log base 10 of 0 0.001. Well, 0 0.001, that's 10 to the minus third. So that would be 20 times the log base 10 of 10 to the minus third. Log base 10 of 10 to the minus third is a negative 3. So you get negative 3 times 20. That gives us then negative 60 dB. So 60 dB corresponds to an attenuation of 1 1,000th. The output would be 1 1,000th of the input. 1 1,000th would correspond to negative 40 dB. And going on down negative 20, you'll notice that the decibels, when we change an order of magnitude, when we go from 10 to the minus third to 10 to the minus second, 10 to the minus first, 10 to the zero, 10 first, 10 second, 10 third, the corresponding dB change in increments of 20 dB.